Welcome back to the Tale of a Hero, a Fable Adventure. We're back again this week. Yeah, do an extra episode because uh, it's the first week of it, so why not? Uh, this would usually be a pointing episode, but this is not a pointing episode. I'll explain what a pointing episode is. Either I'll explain what a pointing episode is later on in the episode today. But last adventure, what we'll be doing? We just completed our tr guild training. We are now a fully fledged hero. We now know how to use the experience thing behind me, and now we're about to pick up our first quest. He says, "Okay, so we've got some things here." Uh, Obviously, all these things we can't really do right now because they're too high level for us. But we can do the Wasp Menace. End the Picnic Area Infestation. Infestation. Mm -hmm. Let's get that then. Take quest. Okay, so follow the gold thing to get to the next location, all that sort of stuff. Right, Guildmaster, what do you say? Do you have given any passing advice? Go and fight the Wasp Queen at the Picnic Area. I will. But first, before we do that... I want to go and speak to Dylan, because we can finally buy things from him. Hello, Dylan. Do you have anything useful for us? Take a quest. Take quest? I mean trade. Right. So you can see he sells cloves. Uh, we can't really afford any right now. We're a bit skint. But he also sells... Actually, leather. Can I see some leather boots for a sale? Yes, but I don't want leather. I'll show you why later. Uh, he also sells some swords. I don't think we need any. And some will potions and stuff. Okay. Um, now I can sell some things, which I might do. I might sell my uh, iron longs, which I can't. Okay, sell my U crossbow. I sell my crossbow though. Actually, no, I won't because. Actually, do I get a profit? I think I do get a profit, don't I? Can't see that set. Okay. No, do I get make a profit? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, we'll leave that then. Why you little scroat? Um. I'll leave that with you then. Calling me a scroat? How devilishly evil of you, my friend. I thought we had a thing going there. It's because I didn't buy anything, but oh, absolutely atrocious. Terrible customer service. I'll never shop there again. I don't think I will, actually, to be fair. Right then, so yeah, we're walking around now, the Heroes Guild. Not quite. Uh, we don't really need to be here anymore, but there is one thing I need to do before we go. I am that chicken chaser. All these apprentices still learning. I'm not. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go and speak to this demon door. Because remember these things? Remember these things? We had to answer a riddle. Let's see what it was again, just to remind Your ourselves. path is dark. Only a light will reveal it. And you are not bright enough. Okay, and you may remember, one of the things we won from completing our training was a lamp. Let's turn it on. Your path is illuminated. Fancy that. You worked it out. And now he will open up for us. Let's turn my lamp off. Let's go inside then. Find out what's on the other side. The Library Arcanum. And yeah, this is a little secret area that's offshoot of the older Heroes Guild. It's like a little secret library full of uh, magic. And spears for some reason. Oh, it's interesting though. This must be part of the guild woods as well, actually, now I think about it. Right, cool. But what have we got inside? We've got some secret things. We've got a chest. We've got some books. What's this? Making friends. Alright, let's open the chest. I did a bit of a teleport there. We've got an elixir of life. What does that do? That's actually quite a good thing. If you know what the theory behind an elixir of life is, like something that prolongs your life. In this case, though, if we go to potions. Uh, the elixir of life. This increases my maximum health. Cool. I've got a howl tattoo. Uh, face of two ancient not whole glade warriors. Oh dear. Underwent a terrible mutilation ritual, which uh, blah, 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 required them to hunt balverines unarmed. And painted this on their face. That's just quite cool then. Right, nothing in there now. And what's in this one here? Book of spells. Makes sense being in a library of arcanum. Right then. Uh, what I'll do now is I will jump ahead until later on. Okay, so I've just jumped ahead over to the Guild Woods. Because as you can see, there's a green dot. That means there is another side quest. Let's get this side quest before moving on. Hello, sir. What are you doing here wandering around in the Guild Woods? Hey, hi. Look, could you do me a massive favour? My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night. And I met this drop-dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. 
I mean, she was a stunner. At least I think she was. But I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her in Oakvale. Letter from Cyril. Can we read it? Oh, let's, let's just read it. Let's just see what happens then. Scrawled is in, in sweaty handwriting is the following poem. My heart hearts for you, Myra. You set my soul and blood on fire. Your eyes are like two glowing suns, and your bosom two glorious buns. Please say you do do so love me, for I can truly say I do love thee. Please let me be your groom, or I shall blame it on the mushroom. I must know how she feels. The suspense is killing me. Oh, one more thing. Don't try to pass the letter off as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Okay, and as you can tell, you get a choice. When you give it to her, you can say it's from yourself and she'll love you. Or you can give it to say it's from Cyril and she'll love Cyril. Right, but of course, that's all the way in Oakville. That's where we first started. That's all the way to the south. So we'll have to keep that on the back burner for now. Okay, so I've just jumped ahead again back to the guild table and all that sort of stuff. And now we're going to leave. Yeah, you may see me jump around a few times because I like to keep things fresh and just cut out the boring parts. But now it's time to leave the Heroes Guild for the first time in about 16 years and go to Lookout Point, which we've obviously been to before. So I should really cut out this loading screen, but I'm not going to anyway. Also, actually, I actually won't talk about that. Right, anyway, pointing. This is what I was talking about earlier. Basically, every so often I'll do a separate episode, which is just something called pointing. Remember, Remember following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Thank you, Guildmaster. Who was this? What took you so long? Follow me! Wasps are attacking the picnic area! I'm sorry, but I was getting some... I was getting some quests. You'll have to hold on a second. Alright, we'll talk about pointing later. Uh, if you hear someone call me Chicken Chaser, it's because that's my name at the moment. Look, shush! I'm just going to quickly talk to Leo. Yeah, this is a, is a name vendor trader. Uh, you see, these are all the names you can get. Uh, I particularly like Avatar. It's the most expensive one. But right now, my name is Chicken Chaser. You can see the only one that's worse than that is that one. <laughs> and of course, you got this one here as well. Pie Master. And we'll come back to those later on. We're going. Follow me. I'm coming. Right, yes. Yeah, so back to pointing. Yeah, When I go around, I go collecting things. I do an episode where I just do that sort of thing. So if you don't like that it's stuff... This way. Oh, dear. Oh dear, I'm I'm coming. It's this way, please. You've got to save my friends. Okay, I'm going in. We'll have to talk about this pointing later. I'm going into the picnic area. Actually, I can talk now on the loading screen. Yeah, I go around collecting things in just one episode. So if you don't like it, you can skip ahead that episode. But basically, I call it pointing because in Assassin's Creed, the viewpoints. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no! The wasps. They're revolting. Okay, quest start. Good, so we get all those things there. Yeah, anyway, back to the viewpoints. Uh, I call it that because of viewpoints. That's where I used to get viewpoints in these pointing episodes. So, viewpoints. For you pointing. Pointing. That's why it's called that. Right. On to glory! I failed you. Thanks Quick! Saving me. I'm gonna tell everyone about you. Good! Now get some help. Nice. Look at all that. You're welcome. Now get to safety. <gasps> that is one big wasp queen. Strike down the wasps. I've done it. Right now what? Let's attack the mother. Have that queenie. Your bow may prove useful against the wasp queen. I'm a battle mage or a spell sword. Hence why I got the sword out. Well, my magic's going to run out in a minute. Okay, switching to bow. Pulling back. Pulling back. Pulling back. This is a no f fly zone. Oh dear. Okay, sword. Oh dear. I kicked him. Indeed, they're not. Right, okay, back to the bow. We'll do a bit of damage with the bow first. 
and release. I'm going to. I'm going to finish you with willpowers. Right, one more shot. And willpower. Shocking. The Wasp Queen is dead. Good night, Wasp Queen. Sleep tight. Job well done. Hello. Who's this one? Yes. Quest complete. The Wasp Menace. I've been rewarded with the Wasp Queen's head as a trophy. Um, some money, some renown, and some experience points. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Okay, so I'm just coming around. I can show people my trophies. And people will know me as my renown increases. It's like my reputation sort of thing. Right, now before anything else happens, I want to do something. He don't look like no chicken chicken chaser. Chaser me, but right, what's Queen's head? Now, if I use this... Oh. No? Okay, fine. Yeah, if I use this, uh, show, show off my trophy to free witnesses. Watch in. You've received a new quest card. Hey, look at my trophy! Yay! And you see, I can get some renown. And I get Project Ego. It's a trophy. Right cool. Stuff. Yeah. Okay, and let's do a little dance. Hey! hey. <laughs> cool. Right, now before we move off, we can quickly loot this area. Got a green apple. See, I like, I like to collect apples. Some apple pie. Obviously, the uh, inhabitants of this place are not going to have it anymore. Might as well steal all these picnics. And what's this? A card? A standard beard? That's what I'm going to be wearing. Of course, I am a I am a bearded man in real life. So a bearded man in the game is what I shall be here. Another health potion. Another apple pie, and that is it. Right then, let's read this. The sundial was built in to commemorate Jack's most famous victories, be the Battle of the Bloody Harvest. Cool. Right then, back to the main area in Lookout Point. Obviously, we've just completed our quest, so that's good. Our first ever quest. Work, but there are still dangerous wasps about. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. We will be there momentarily then. But before we do that, let's go and do some few little odd jobs around here then. Okay, so that's where we've just come from. So this is what I want to talk to. Is these people talking earlier. What seems to be the problem, citizens? I used to be someone, you know. I was a great warrior. Before you took an arrow in the knee. Used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now. Begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. I will help you get rid of this uh, bully. Seems to be the one I beat up in Oakvale. But I think he died. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Hmm. Use my expression. So I've got to use an expression. Uh, excuse me, sir. He may be smelly and trampy, but uh, you cannot do that to him. Um, you little snot bag. Don't you like know hmm. nothing of the world. Do not like smells, perhaps. Maybe I shall do this then. Look at you. You smell like rotting rat corpses. That smells worse. I used to be someone, you know. Let's sort of get a better aim. Great warrior. Let's aim. Oh, let's put it over here. I swear, there's maggots crawling out of him. Have it. Take it in. I used to be someone, you know. I was a great warrior. I promise that's what you're supposed to do, unless it's the other one. A warrior? What did you do? Chuck your enemies to death with your stench? Just like that. Ah, not on me. Dirt to the old you fool over there. You little bag. You know nothing of the world. Have it. Have you seen your face in a mirror? It's like a breathing sack of pus. Why would you go away? There you go. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. Oh, I'm out of here. Ha ha ha! Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. I hope so, smelly beggar. Only got some good points for that, though. Cool. But wait. I can smash this bush. What's behind the bush? It's something shiny. What is it? It's a silver key. That is what, that is what we use to open up those silver chests, which I've already explained. Good, so I now have one. Right, so what do I do now? 
I might go back to... Uh, no, I'll go down here to Bowerstone. I'll continue with the quest. Follow the quest. I think that's what we've got to do now. Alright, so this is one of the main towns of the game. Alright, hero, Mr. Guard. Hello. <laughs> Bless him. Cool. Right, in we go then. I am the hero. I wish to see the town of Bowerstone. Anyway, back to the pointing thing. So yeah, when I go around collecting things, I call those episodes pointing because of the reason I said earlier. So this would normally be a pointing episode where I'll just do some reading of books and uh, some looting maybe if there's a, if it's a, if it's acceptable. But yeah, obviously for this week there is not much to do so far, so we'll leave it for this week. But yeah, next week pointing will start and I'll start reading those books. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Thank you, Mr. Guard. Obey the Lord while you're here. I will try. Cool, so this is the first town. Great, there's loads of things to do. Let's have a look at the map. You can see there's all these different shops. There's all these different things to look at and stuff like that. But let's go and first continue with the quest. There's Maze. The master said he's looking for you. Oh, there. They're looking at him. Sad face. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me. How much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family. And that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor. And there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy. Make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Yes, master. My sister's alive, maybe. Check the guild for more quests. We'll have to check that out later. Right, what is going on? I heard someone call Hero. Yes? What? A citizen is in need of help? What is matter? I said that wrong. Hello, child. You wanted help. Quick! I'm coming. Go. Where are we going? There we go. Where are we going? Quick. What's up, boy? Girl? Go. Go. Sorry, girl. What's the matter? Why are we going behind the tavern? Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry. But she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Mushrooms? Did we hear something about a mushroom earlier through uh, that guy in the guild hall? Are you going to help my brother Aldi then? I will. I hope you... I will, but uh, it looks like he's the bully from the beginning of the game. Even though he's probably got older now then. Cool, right, so nothing down there. So what's, what's the plan? What's the plan? Um... I'm not going to loot. I'm going to keep that for pointing next week. So uh, I'm going to look around all these houses to get all the stuff. Let's uh, do some shopping. That sounds like a plan. Hello. How is everybody? Oh, hello, Sophia. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Who's this? All right, Murray. I would like to trade. Yeah, look at him run. Especially that one that chased me at the beginning of the game. So we're going to go and buy something right now. I don't know how to buy it. Oh, here we go. I'm going to buy a beer. 
because I'm trying to uh, get a trophy. Right, just buy the one. Okay. Cool. Uh, pleasure of being a hero. I've become too much. Drown your troubles in some sweet, sweet alcohol. Nope. The tavern, marvellous, isn't it? It is. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Right, I don't think I can give it to Delphine. I can give it to you, though. Can I? I can. Let's do that. Right, so there's a trophy for giving beer to somebody. So I'm waiting for her to sit down. No, I'm not, bodyguard. I'll give her the beer. Beer? Uh, cool, yeah, how do I give this a gift? There we go. No? Oh, it didn't work. Okay, fine. I'll talk to him later. Well, then. So, yeah. That's a failed attempt at getting a trophy. That's bad. So yeah, what should I do? Do some shopping, I think. I've got Alvin over there, who's a blacksmith. He sells weapons. Do I want to buy any weapons? Chicken, I want to buy some armour. No, I don't, actually. First, I want to buy some hair. So let's go up here, because up here there is a shop. And you can see, judging from that little spirally thing there, I forget what they're called, but... We found a barber's. Hello, Hello Scarlet. Hello, Scarlet. I'd like to trade... Yeah, so this is where you can customise your character. Right, so you can see here you get attractiveness and scariness. And they, obviously all your things expect that, your customization option, options. Pudding Basin's quite cool because it makes you less scary. But I'm, I'm actually thinking of going bold, if I'm honest. Like, I'm, I've got this whole sort of theory behind what I'm going to do. But I'm going to save that for now. I'm just going to go for a beard. Right, so normal beard, that's too scary. That is, that's fine, that limits everything. That increases scariness. I don't want to, all right, let's go for a standard beard, was it? Yeah, really, mi bleh, minimizes everything, but it's it's better than nothing. So let's get a beard. Standard beard. Perhaps Wait. you're needed at Orchard Farm. How <laughs> ridiculous! Don't laugh at my beard. My, a... <laughs> my beard's lovely. Leave me alone, Scarlet. My beard's lovely. Right. Anyway, um, let's go up here then and go. I don't want to go up there yet because I want to do something later. Let's go to Barrowstone Quay, or Quay, whatever you want to call it. Because down here, there was that witch that that uh, woman just talked about. So we're going to continue with this quest right now. Right, so what's down here? Ah, uh, chickens. No hard feelings, eh? From the beginning of the game. Right, and here, ah, here's the witch. Witch, I need a potion. No, don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady. The one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time of his life. Oh dear, okay, so free blue mushrooms. Well, we heard rumours about one from that guy in the guild forest. Hold on. This is for the beginning of the game. I've definitely got stronger. Oh god, he's behind that. I'm sorry. Oh dear, they're still angry. Oh god, why are they always chasing me? Why am I called Chicken Chaser? They always chase me. Oh dear, yeah, so we've got that one from that. We found it. Oh, favourite sake, go away. Shoo, scram. Back her off. Chickens. Why are they all warriors? They're all trying to kill me. Uh, yeah, well, I think that's... I haven't found any others yet. Hello, sir. What's going on? Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself, though a bit fussy. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. <laughs> really? Well, uh, <clears throat> why, Beardy Boldy? Let's, uh, let's talk your daughter, then. Ah, that's good news. I think she was starting to get a bit lonely. Thing is, she only likes men whose hair looks like the picture on this card. Okay, the pudding basin. So what we need to do is we need to go and change my hair to the pudding basin. Maybe if you looked like that, she'd let me introduce you to her. Come and find me when you're ready. I won't be far away. Okay then, good sir. I will I will play by the rules. I will go and do so, but not yet, not yet. Uh, oh, stop laughing at me! They're laughing at me because I look less attractive and less scary. So you know, people find me quite humorous. Hello, chicken. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a bit of a dead end. There's just two quests down here. Lovely boats, though. I wish I could have a boat. That'd be quite cool. And remember this circle as well. We'll do that. We'll talk about that later. Chicken! Ha 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 ha! Me and the warrior chickens. We practice together. It's a bit of sparring, you know? Okay, so not much time left in this episode. I don't really want to do much because I want to go and read the books. And if I go up there, I will lose some books, which we'll talk about later. So let's go and do some... Sh <laughs> Mummy, all of the people are bullying me. Yeah, I want to go buy something, but the shops have just changed, unfortunately. A shot. Unless it's not. Maybe it's still open. Quick! I need to get to the shop. Is it closed? It's closed. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, colour skates. I know. Sorry. Yeah, those things there, they're teleporters. Oh, well, well, the shop's closed. People are laughing at me. I'm going to go and get a bed in uh, this house up here. In fact, let's go up here. Hello, guard. What's up here? Not so fast, sunshine. You're not allowed in there. Why? Oh, fine. Suit yourself. Well, um, it's night time. I want it to be daytime. There is something we can do. Stop, stop laughing at me. Oh, stop laughing at me. <gasps> Alright, anyway. I don't want to hire you, no. That Whitley, yeah, he's a game master. We'll play with that game master. Probably in pointing, actually, because it's a bit boring. But we'll talk about that later. Anyway, let's uh, rent this bed. No, can I not rent this bed? There is an important quest card at the guild for you. Well, I'll be back there later. I'm going to bed right now. So rent this bed in the inn. It should become daytime. Daytime, perfect. Right then. Let's go downstairs. Now it's daytime, the shop will be open, that's what I want to do. Right, so this is the one I want just here. We've seen Alvin, he's the blacksmith, he sells the swords. This is the one I want to go to right now, though. Hello there, s <laughs> sir. Are you open? Chew? Oh, oh dear. Silly, Stop so. it! Chew, I want to I want to do business with you. you. Come to the right place. Thank you, Chew. I mean, they're laughing at my name, and he's called Chu. He's not even a hero, so he can't change his name. Right, well, let's see what he's got then. I don't want any helmets. What I want to get is I want to get some bright stuff, some bright leather armour. Because um, you can see you get two different types. You get dark leather, you get bright leather, and you get just normal leather. But since I'm going to be a good character, I want bright leather. However, I don't have enough. So let's go for some smaller things instead. Let's go for some bright leather gauntlets. Um, do I or do I not? Bright leather leggings. Leggings might be useful, actually. I'll go for them instead, I think. Um, yeah, he's selling them at an extortionate price, though. Um, yeah, let's buy some bright leather leggings, then. Purchase. My cousin says oh, Orchard Farm's got some here. weird going on. Right, so it looks like Orchard Farm is going to go to later on. Uh, right, let's quickly go back to my equipment, and I'll show you my changing of it. Let's go down to my leggings. You see I've got my apprentice things from before. Village ones are what I got when I graduated, and now I've got some bright leather leggings. More armour than uh, the let travel. Obviously, look at that 175. This is 233. Cool, so now we just need to make our way towards getting the full set, which we'll do when we get money. Okay, so who are you? <laughs> Teacher, Mr. Gelt. I'll talk to you later. Alright, um, let's go now over here. I'm trying to find something. I think it's in the barbers. Yes. Right, so up we go. Hello, Scarlet. Oh, not you again. I'm sorry. Right, I want to go outside here. Because outside here... I've got the wrong place. <laughs> How embarrassing. Sorry, Scarlet, I'm going. Right, which one was it? It's low stop here. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> They're all then. bullying me. Don't worry, once we get more renown, and we'll get different uh, hair, haircuts and stuff, I think this is the one actually, uh, they'll start to stop laughing at me. They're just laughing at me right now because I look rather silly. This is what I want. Another silver key. That means I've got two out of 30. Perfect. Right, yeah, so you see these things here that I can loot through? I can loot through them, although it is illegal. I'm not allowed to. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in my pointing episode. I'm going to go around this village, or town, sorry, looking at all the different places and stealing all the stuff. I'm, I'm going to be a good character, like I said. Stealing does give you bad points, so I'm still going to be doing it, even though I'm going to be good, because it's for loot, and I like loot. 
So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be going good. Oh, uh, leave me alone. You're all laughing at me. Yeah, so I'm going to be getting the, some, all the loot and the stealing. Oh, I'm going to hide somewhere. The woman's talking. <laughs> Stop talking to me. Yeah, so I'm going to loot all these places and steal the stuff, even though it's a bad thing to do. But, uh, you know, I want all the loot. In fact, I'm going to have a little look. See, no one can see me right now. So let's have a look. See, stealing, that's fine. Dark villager trousers. Dark villager shirt. And dark villager boots. Good, so I've got a full outfit just from getting through there. It is obviously makes me evil, but uh, it's for loot. Must get the loot. What's in here? The Guild of Zeros. A book, see? Anyway, I don't mind. Cool. Well then, I guess that's it for this adventure. We'll end by sparring with a chicken. Ah, cool. Yes, but if you want to find out what happens in the next page of this uh, tale of a hero, then simply click on the next video to turn the page.